Hey, what is up people? This is Johnny and today we're going to be going over five of the dumbest laws. Number five. Singing the happy birthday song in public could actually get you in trouble because it is considered copyright infringement to Time Wonder. In 1996, the Girl Scouts of America were sued because they were singing happy birthday songs around the campfire and without a single one of them paying the royalties to Time Wonder, they were sued and they had to pay money to ASCAP, a company that protects the infringement of copyrighted songs. Number four. Creating fake internet profiles could actually land you 20 years in prison. This is to prevent people who create fake profiles and as well as impersonating other people on the internet. So this is kind of a pretty weird law, but there are many people that think that this is including their username. Your username usually will be your username depending on the website you sign up, but if you create the information that is fake and all false, like your fake name, street address, or something like that, it is considered illegal. Number three. Owning permanent markers under the age of 18 is illegal, especially if you have it out in public. It is said to be illegal because it's going to prevent graffiti in the streets and many other different stuff as well. However, there was a case in one state of Oklahoma where this kid had brought his permanent marker and he just wrote on the paper and then the teacher called the police because the permanent marker went through the desk and they called the police and arrested him before having a permanent marker see this is the reason why these laws become really dumb number two betting over two thousand dollars could actually land you in jail if you and your friend are in a bar or somewhere going to bet over two thousand dollars this could actually be illegal especially if there's a police around you because there was a case where a police officer was in a bar and he overheard two friends talking about they're gonna bet over two thousand dollars and then what they decided to do was actually raid the men's house with a SWAT team because they were betting two thousand dollars in a bar which even though it's just a friendly thing they still decided to go ahead and stop it number one Wi-Fi is illegal okay so Wi-Fi isn't entirely illegal but if you're using your neighbor's Wi-Fi and they don't have it secured this is considered illegal you could actually go to jail for this it is pretty pretty sad because usually people have to learn to protect their own Wi-Fi security in order for them not to get hacked or something like that or people using their internet or wasting their bandwidth but this is considered really illegal if you actually go into a public area and they find the IP address of your computer or if you're just walking around and your phone automatically connects to a Wi-Fi spot because some phones even have the feature of cre uh, connecting to automatic Wi-Fi spots but hey you could land a time in prison if your neighbor is computer knowledgeable of how he knows that IP address tracking on your device so it's pretty pretty a messed up law that should be revised and instead it should be made where people actually protect their Wi-Fi I mean they have encryption settings for it why don't you put it thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what are your favorite ones also, if you haven't checked out some of my previous videos, make sure to click on the two boxes in the middle to go ahead and check them out. Thanks.